that stuff, but we gonna smash that notification on, man. You don't wanna drop that. Bro, we got a young boy, never broke again. Also known as young NBA. I thought, you know what's crazy? I used to say NBA, young boy, but it's young boy NBA. Crazy. And it's AI young boy 2. I never listened to AI 1, so I can't give you my opinion on it. This is my first ever listening to an album from young boy. I've heard a couple of trash from young boy. I heard the stuff get played around places, but never sat down and listened to a whole album from young boy. I literally want to see what the whole hoopla and hype was about this guy. This guy smashes the numbers on YouTube when it comes to music and shit like that. So I'm like, this has to be something with this nigga that I'm just not taking in or I'm not listening to. So I need to take it in. So I'm like, yo, his album drop? I'm like, okay, let's see what's going on with it. And that's the reaction. Track number one, Carter Son. Now, as you press play on this bitch, it puts you in a nice, smooth ride vibe. Bro, I automatically talk about hitting the 401. Smoking a blunt, just jamming to this shit, just off rip, just the way he came with it. In the song, he raps about a lot about his pain and stuff like you could feel it in his bars. The way Youngboy raps, I think he really raps from the heart or about real life situations. And especially him in his background and stuff like that, like on the net and things he's going through. I believe this nigga's bars, like, you feel me? And a lot of things and how he raps certain things and the way he raps certain things, it makes me feel like, damn, like this nigga, not saying he has regret, but he has a lot of pain towards a lot of things he's been through in his life. So Carter's son, that's the kind of vibe you get from that track. track number two time i'm on now this track is some ride around with the gang type music like if you're with your niggas bro and you're walking this shit you're gonna have a blast the hook is fire like i was wondering like that this is kind of hook these niggas are making okay the chorus i mean or whatever whichever you guys want to relate it to the chorus is fucking fire on this track he's talking about you know young boy young boy's a gangster rapper he's talking his gangster right around shit so if you with your gang you with your niggas and this is a track that comes on y'all niggas are gonna bump this is on bump around with the gang music type of shit you feel me track number three hot now now this track i'm not gonna lie to you i was getting about that i need to fuck my ops baby move on to this type of shit like it was just straight funny disrespectful bro i think this nigga's bipolar as fuck no cap listen to this track i'm like yo this nigga really has some demons he's fighting with this nigga went from a whole conversation with a bit saying he's gonna run up and shoot a nigga, like Lydia Bar after. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, this nigga's about to pull it and shit. But it's a young boy track. Young boy's funny, bro. Like, especially the other singles I've heard from him prior. I heard Slime, Mentality Already, and things like that. Off the album, the music videos drop. Uh, I'm like, damn, bro. This nigga's really, like, he could really spit. Like, like yeah, when you used to track and hear niggas talk about gangster shit, like, yeah, cool. But, like, when, he, when he's been creative, like, not. I don't know if you're going to call it creativity or just being bipolar as fuck, well, but when you make tracks like this, I'm like, damn, like, this is the kind of track that I can make, so that's a track I was That was a track I was fucking when I was listening to. I was like, damn, that was, this is a pretty good track. Like, I really felt what he was doing and what he was saying in that track. Track number four, Seeming Like It. Now, on this track, I'm not going to lie to you, when the beginning of that autotune shit came on, I was like, eh, I'm not really fucking with it. But when the track kept going, I'm like, e -e 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 -e. the beginning kind of threw me off. I thought he was going to sound like that through the whole track, but the way he played with it, I I, 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 I appreciated it a little bit better throughout the track. That little auto stuff in the beginning, it's a very heart, warm, feeling, feeling kind of track. Another, like, I, I agree, really what I'm going to get from this album, or if I'm getting from Youngboy, he raps from the heart a lot, and this is one of the tracks I, I could see, like, people crying to it. That's how, like, impactful or from the heart he raps from. And, like, being... Uh, like a Charles Gambino fan, a, a Drake fan, you know, weekend artists of like people when you hear them rap or say certain things, you can feel their pain and feel what exactly what they're saying. He gets that exact vibes, and I don't know why he connects a lot of kids because not even the, the non gangster niggas, he just says a lot of heartful shit that niggas could relate to. So that's another track that I was fucking with when I heard it. I'm like, damn, this is this is another beautiful track. Track number five, self control. Now, on this track. The title's called Self Control, but he's talking about how much he's, when he's not in the right mind state, how un self controlling he is. This is kind of a track that you want to be, this is a warning to your ops. Like, this is like, like your ops are like, I'm not the one to fuck with, bro. I just want to take my purse and chill out because if I'm not going to beat the fuck out of you, my nigga, just allow me. Don't mess with me. Don't fuck with me. Don't do nothing. Just let me be, bro, because I will dun your face off, fam. It's one of those kind of tracks. So just off oh, bridge, he's talking his gangster shit. I was just like, yo, you always a different breed, bro. Like, I'm only five tracks in and I'm like dying. Like, yo, this nigga's really rapping. Like, especially when you hear the things he's been through, I'm like, damn, this nigga's really about his shit. And especially the way he says it, I'm like, fuck, this nigga's a cold-hearted nigga, bro. 
<laughs> track number six makes no sense. Now, this is the kind of track that I usually hear from young boys or from like fans. I ask you, oh, give me a young boy track. This is more of the vibe that I've been hearing. That's how I never like, I say this is a bad track or anything like that, but it just never made me pick up and go to another young boy track. I think it's a decent, cool track. It bumps. It has, he's talking this gangster shit. He's just talking the shit on it, basically. You know, it's just another talk shit track on it. You know, he's rapping on it. He's doing this thing on it. Basically, nothing really bad to say about the track. It's an all right track to me. <laughs> I can see, I can see it slaps in certain areas for certain mats at certain times, but this is one. I, I don't know. I think this is one of the tracks where I'm just like, I, it's the same sound I keep hearing. It's just like the baby. Like I like some of the baby tracks, but then there's like a like you just hear the same vibe or sound. Future's the same way for me. Like if I hear a certain thing a little bit too much, it just makes me say like, nah, I gotta find my favorite ones of that kind of sound. Basically, that was trying to say. Track number seven, rich as hell. This track is fucking flames, bro. Fucking flames. He's rapping that trap life shit. He's not giving a fuck. He's rapping on this one. Like this is the this is the young boy to fuck with. Like you, I'm not well. Prior to listening to the rest of the album, I was like, if he made more tracks like these, I'll fuck with. Like this is the kind of shit I could fuck with. Like it's fucking flames. The tracks are fire. The pre-chorus or that little hook before the, the bridge before the hook or the pre-chorus before the chorus, however you guys want to call it. That shit was fucking fun. That's the best part of the track, bro. That little in-between part that he does is fucking funny. And his second verse, especially more to the end, had me crying. Like, I was like, this nigga, like, if I, I, I didn't write all the bars, but the second half of the track, when you nigga listen to it, it's fucking killer, bro. It, it had me done. Like, yo, this nigga's fucking crazy, fam. Like, this nigga's just on another one. He's just one of those. Track number eight, Slime Mentality. Now, this is the track of the video I put on with. And during the video, I was more taking the video, taking the vibe. Then I was now listening to the track for what it is. Now, this is what you want to go fuck up your ops to, bro. If you bump in this track, I say don't bump in this track high. This is the kind of track that will raise the crime rate. I swear to God. If you're high in your feelings, bumping this track, you're sliding on your ops right after the track hits zero, 0 You're sliding. Actually, you might slide this during the beat, bro. You might pull out during this track is still going. You might be speeding it within the three minutes this track is. Like it's, it's, it's a crime rate kind of music, you feel me? I just like, <laughs> how does that with it? It's just a young boy track, um, pretty funny. It's basically like fuck up your ops type of music too. Track number nine, Head Blown. This track, yo, bro, his flow is crazy. Even though it's a talking shit track, his flow on this one is fucking bonkers. Like, this is where I'm like, okay, this nigga could actually, you know, switch flows, do a little this and that. And this is a track, and I'm like, okay, he's showing a little talent on this one. No cap. Like, he shows off his talent on this track a little bit more than the other couple of tracks from prior. You know, other track, he kind of still rapping the same cadence, same flow, whatever. But this track, he kind of like, gets a little different. It's fucking fire. And the chorus on this one is fucking fire, too. No cap. Like, when I was going, I'm like, yo, this nigga makes good choruses, good hooks. I mean, you just want to call it because, I don't know, people don't even say I call hooks, choruses, and chorus hooks. I'm like, bro, isn't it the same thing? So that's what I'm saying both, just in case. But either way, the chorus on this bitch is fucking flame. Track number 10, Ronaldo. Now, this is a female stub love song. All those bitches who want to thug love wants a nigga to be talking this kind of shit to them. I, this is a, I was surprised young boy could actually make love songs like this. This is a trap love song. This is this is a, a song for trap niggas to bump to. I feel okay talking about love and shit like that. This track had me kind of dying a little bit because I'm like, damn, young boy actually could make a love track. I was I was because like I I listened to um Belly. I like that from him. I didn't know young boy had that shit in the tongue. No cap. I was like, damn, young boy can make one of these. He needs to make a couple more. So I was like, all right, I fuck with this track. This is a good love track. You know, we gotta give your boy his respect. Cause you know, for a guy I always think that talks like gangster hard shit. Hey, able to get into this bag. That's why bitches still fuck with this nigga. He could get into this bag, bro. You know, young boy could get into this bag. No matter how he seems, whatever. Man has a soft side where he can get well, you know, and the track's not that soft still. Even the nigga's loving his heart. God, this nigga's psycho, fam. This nigga's really psycho, boy. It, it, it's a little softer. <laughs> if you take it, it's a little softer side to this nigga. That's basically it. Track number 11, Lonely Child. Now, this, this is the song that I'm like, damn. Like, I got to know a little bit more about your boy. Why he's like this. You know, why he may be so um, nuclear the way he is. Is nuclear even a word? But as, like... The, the, his why his meant to say it the way it is basically like it was really introspective it was really like heartfelt like i felt this one like i said like 
Don't be rest with the hardest. When you hear tracks like this, and he's really getting into his past and things that he goes through in life and shit like that, you just feel for him for a little bit. Like, regardless of whatever he's doing, whatever he's going through, or whatever the cost of it be, but, like, you just say, like, fuck, bro. Like, you just feel a little bad for the nigga a little bit. It, it's one of those, like I said, that, where I watch to listen to his album, bro, I'm like, bro, I, I gotta put more respect on this little nigga's name. This nigga's just not, he's not a rapper, bro. Like, I love niggas who could rap and you could feel their bars, bro. It's not like they're for rapping, you just relate to the shit, just cause like, oh, he said a funny bar there that I understand, or this and that. When you feel like the nigga's really rapping from some shit he went through and it's hurting him, it just oh. makes you connect to the track a lot more. Track number 12, Gang Shit. It's basically self-titled, man. It's gang shit. He's talking gangster shit. It's what you need to be gang around, run around, music shit too. You know, it's what you need to on some rubber rat shit. <laughs> no K tape pun intended. But it's really what it is. It's a simple gangster kind of track. You into that gangster shit. Gang shit. Check for you. That's all I gotta say about it. <laughs> track number 13, Rebels Kick It. Now, this song is fucking flame. Hearing it, I thought it was a sonically the best sounding song. So far on the album, because there are 11 tracks in the album, at this point, I didn't hear the rest. So I'm just going how I felt during my moments listening to these music. I'm like, yo, this is my favorite track so far on the album. I just love it. It's just so introspective. Like I said, you could feel his bars. You could feel his pain. Beat is fucking fuck. Like, the beat, this is probably one of the fucking best beats on the album so far, too. I, I, I can't remember at that point. No, I don't think there's any better beats on that. Like, that's better than this one. Like, I think there's another track that I like more than this one, but the, there's no better beat on this album than this one this beats fucking flames track number 14 out of here safe now this is the track where he only had like i was gonna i didn't even bring this up in the beginning young boy has no features besides this track and that's when you know he's carrying his own weight because he believes in himself so if young boy does numbers on the strength of his own and i don't know his associations or anything but i'm guessing this is his homies or friends and he put them on this one track and his shit goes that just shows how much like of an independent artist that nigga is and he carries his own weight on every track that he's on because if you could do big numbers on your own solo shit that's know that you're the one that's moving the units not nobody else you're not using other people's power shit like that so the fact that he has one track and these guys killed their features especially um the last one i believe it is i want to say it's rondo right i don't know people's voices i don't listen to them like that but i i, I asked someone and someone told me that the last person was rondo so just in case they were wrong I'm gonna say Rondo, but that last verse was fucking crazy. On the, between the two features, that person fucking killed it for me. But the track's fucking fire. I love it. It's gangster, right around music too. If you're with your niggas and shit like that, and all you niggas know this shit, I think y'all niggas have a fun time vibe about track too. Like, I like thinking about like track you put on with your niggas, and if everybody knows it, how little be like, Uzi does that sometimes. Like, nigga, put the right Uzi track with the man in the whip, it's a GG. It's just funny, it's an experience. Like, only niggas who ride around with niggas understand what I'm talking about. But this is another good ride around music too with your niggas and everything, everybody knows the type shit. Track number 15, In Control. He's just rapping his gangster shit on this one. It's just young boy doing what young boy does. He's rapping his gangster shit, letting you niggas know what's up. Not to fuck with him. Simple. <laughs> track number 16, I don't know. This track right here, a man's heard this track and right now is using these bars to get back his girl. It's basically get back your shorty type of love track. Another surprising type of track. Didn't think young boy would be in his bag with his love with making love songs or more lovier song. And this nigga just saying, yo, how sorry you are. If you're sorry you for anything you ever did as a thug nigga, and you have a thug bitch or just a normal thing, a bitch, or that's simple. I shouldn't be saying bitch, a girl. You feel me? Because at the time you're not sending some bitch, you send this a girl. My bad, my bad. But it, it if you're saying so, shorty that you fell in love with, whatever, this is one of those tracks, you feel me? You probably get her back off, off the track. If you're a thug nigga, like, you're not a thug nigga, you just drink. <laughs> That's simple. Track number 17, Where's the Love? Now, this is another track where he opens up very introspective, and makes you, look, makes you understand and learn young boy a little bit better. These are the tracks I appreciate. These are the tracks I wanted to hear. Like, this kind of track and the other one I was talking about you got really into is what I wanted to hear from young boy. Like, I need to know who is young boy why is young boy the way young boy is this is the kind of music i can fuck with i love this kind of shit young boy did it i was like damn this is a fucking banger like he just talks about his family he talks about things he's been through it's just super introspective and if you're a young boy fan it's a track you appreciate because you're just learning more about your artist and if you're a new fan you're like fuck like that's why young boy seems bipolar as fuck <laughs> track number 18 free time yo this is the one that he shows all his time if you're not a young boy fan and you want to know why, or you want to see Youngboy's talent, I should say. I actually feel like Youngboy fan, but if there's a track that shows Youngboy's talent from this album, is this one. He goes into his bag on this one. Like, 
every couple of seconds new flow, switching it up, adding this there, that like that's what that, that's the kind of shit I fuck with. Like that's why I say your music is dead because no one nigga switches up their voices. They don't try to be different. Like music is made in like two minutes. They use the same flow, same rap. It's like no, take your time. You know, sometimes a great track takes like three months to make because you might one part rap here like this way and you find a sicker, crazier flow, but the first one will still six. You add both in, and that's how you make music like that. And I think this is the track that. I don't know if he made it just on them, but I just think he took a lot more time on this track than some of the other tracks. And this is a track that I'm like, damn. He rapped from the heart. It was introspective. He made you feel this shit. And he was crazy flow. Like, his clothes were fucking bonkers on this one. Not saying this is the best track on this, but this is probably the one that, if I had someone say, yo, why is Young Boy so talented? Or why does people think Young Boy is talented? I'll play this one. But it's probably harder tracks. But I think those harder tracks are this Young Boy fan type of track. But for a novice fan, I'm going straight to free time. <laughs> now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. Leave them smash that notification bell, bro. You guys already know, fill up in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think about the album, what you guys like about it, what you guys dislike about it. Anything else? Yeah. Tell me what other reactions to do. Tell me that, bro. Is, I just added that shit and I was on free class. So you see my awkward channel. Something like I get better than that. Call me like a witch, bitch, you little dick, put it on your daughter and she's still caught a nut. Patty K, Patty K, you gotta know your bitch like Sonic K. Hey, I'll pull up in a roller skates, wearing white song like a violin. Hey!